Hey friends, this is Peggy Sue and I'm here with RV Curious. I do tons of research so that you can spend less time learning and more time exploring. And today I am going to show you how to get the top off of this Furion stove. This was not the project I intended to do today, but we decided we needed to get behind the stove in order to do a different project. So I thought I would take the chance uh, to teach you how I did this. I spent two hours watching videos to learn this trick, so hopefully it will help somebody out there. A lot of research is actually learning what not to do. And so let's go over a few things that I learned the hard way not to do with my stove. The first thing to not do is to pull up on these tabs at the back of the top of the stove. There's two small squares there. They look like tabs. In one video, a man pulled up on these and said, that's what you need to do in order to get your stove out. So I did and I bent the aluminum and I had to actually spend a lot of time fixing that after I finally got it out the right way. Do not pull up on these tabs. They are not tabs. They are just pieces of metal. You will damage your stove. And if you're trying to replace your stove and you don't mind that it's damaged, that's fine. But if, like us, you actually want to keep the stove, please don't do that. The second thing not to do is to pull up directly on the sides. In one video, somebody showed that there were some pins underneath there are, and that by pulling up on the sides, this would allow you to pull away from those pins. And yes, while that is potentially true, I also bent the aluminum on my stove when I tried that. Again, this man was somebody who was trying to replace their stove, and so they didn't care if they had bent it. I do care. The third thing not to do is to pull straight up into your forehead. And this one I learned the hard way by pulling up, yep, you guessed it, straight up into my forehead. And here's me with a pack of corn trying to keep it cold so that I could not have a lump. I just ended up with a small bruise in the end. It's all good. Um, so what we are going to do is continued on in the next part of the video. All right, first of all, I'm gonna put back the glass top like I do every time I use the stove. And then here's the trick. I'm gonna grab right by those hinges as hard as I can with my hands and I'm gonna pull straight up. And it's gonna feel like it's coming off. And then we're just gonna take this out, ta-da! And now I've gotten inside my stove. This is actually necessary if you need to change out this stove top. Let's say you break the glass. Um, we haven't done that yet, but I've heard horror stories. And, um, and for our purposes, that's going to allow us to take the stove out. Uh, there's a couple of screws here on each side and a couple of screws on the bottom. And then this just pulls out. You do have to deal with the propane and the electrical. So uh, we'll save that for another video. But if you need to get that thing off, it's just that easy. And now I'm going to show you how to put it back on. Two little tabs in the front. You'll see this metal, uh, two small tabs of metal. They go into two small holes here. Just gonna slide that forward at an angle. And then you'll go to sit it down and it won't feel like it can go back in, but you just press down in each corner. Ta-da! Thanks for watching.